The Solar Farm at Broken Hill is a 52 megawatt project. Um, it is the second largest project uh, in Australia and one of the largest projects in the Southern Hemisphere. Uh, it took about 9 to 12 months to construct uh, and uh, has a project value cumulatively with the Ningen project of $450 million. Broken Hill obviously has a long and storied history associated with mining. Uh, as, a, as a function of what's been happening in that industry, obviously there's been a, a paring down and job opportunities uh, in uh, community uh, growth and so this was a fantastic uh, opportunity uh, for Broken Hill to really embrace uh, a new industry uh, and what we think is a really new uh, and exciting source of job creation. The Broken Hill project had about uh, 100 to 200 jobs um, created during construction period. Uh, now as that construction winds down, um, the operational uh, presence will be much less. Since the change in leadership uh, at the federal government level, uh, we've started to see uh, a very proactive uh, reach out from a number of the agencies uh, that previously um, weren't as well supported. If you look at all the factors you need uh, for large-scale solar deployment, Australia is probably number two on the list globally. There are so many obvious reasons why uh, large-scale solar should be contributing. It's really just been a function of policy constraints, policy uncertainty, uh, which we're now starting to see um, some clarity around. And so uh, we're confident with the right policy signals, with the right private sector commitment that we're now seeing, uh, large-scale solar will be off to the races in Australia.